Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shah is the name of his only begotten Son, who the world knows is Jesus Christ. And I want to give double honors to all the elders and apostles, great millstone, how to learn this truth from. And I want to say Shalom to the Hopi elect. May the Heavenly Father bless you with his gracious mercy. You know, today the message, you know, basically is going to be based around the Karagma. And you know, uh, um, prophecy that's in um, Second Edges. I'm going to play this video. I'm going to get two quick precepts. Happening tomorrow, the George Washington Bridge is going cashless. A new electronic tolling system will go online, and all the cash lanes will be eliminated. The system will take pictures of vehicles that don't have easy passes and bill them by mail. Port Authority officials expect the upgrade will make it easier and ease delays at the bridge, but Congressman Josh Gottheimer says it's not all good. The upgrade is set to eliminate carpool lanes and the human toll collectors who check carpools, which he says help save drivers drivers nearly $2,400 a year. So most of what happens actually is that people meet up somewhere in their town um, and they meet up before going to work in the morning and they and they commute in together. You know, it costs uh, around $6 to get across the bridge versus $16, you know, about $16. So you're, you're saving nearly $10 a day by commuting. Gottheimer says there is technology that can track carpool lanes. He's now encouraging the Port Authority to explore all options to keep the current carpool rates. Let's see. They said there's going to be a cashless thing to cross this bridge. You know, if you don't have easy pay, they're going to what? They're going to bill you. So I looked up easy pay, and it's an article that came out last year. This CBSnews.com. Port Authority. Issue warning to those who don't pay tolls sent in mail. Let's see, Esau, man. We're always chasing the money. You see, Esau, man, he's just bloodthirsty, money hungry nigga, man. You see? Just scrolling down, get straight to the point. And there's people out here, see, they're talking about how it was a man, the guy who owed 58,000 unpaid toll fees was one of the most precedent toll violators the agency has ever seen. So it's people out here who don't even pay those things and all, and it's going to come a point where Esau, he, he's really going to enforce it, you know, because think about it, if everybody did that, Esau going to look at it like he's losing so much money, so he's going to make examples out of somebody, you know. But scrolling down, this is what they just said. But it said, if you don't pay that, another bill. Well, D, D. Crescino says, if you don't have an easy pass, you will get a bill for the toll within 30 days. If you don't pay that, another bill in 60 days, plus $5 late fee. After 90 days, you're officially a violator. You see? So Esau said, man, you're a violator if you don't pay his toll fees. And what's so special about this bridge, you know, they'll show you right there, man, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, man. Esau can charge you just to go across a bridge, man. It's pitiful. He says, the agency says in the last five years, it has impounded 5,000 vehicles and ridden 31 um, summonings. You know, when you go to that, they're just orders, you know, for you to come go see a judge. You know, so they sent out, let me get this word real quick. Summons. Summons. In order to appear before a judge or a magistrate, you see? So they written, they impounded 5,000 cars and written 31,000 summons for people to go before a judge just for not, you know, paying toll fees. You say, with a workforce dedicated to looking for both the, in, let me get this word, the invaders. Let's see what this word is. Can't pronounce it. Egregious. Egregious invaders. You know, it's a outstandingly bad, shocking, appalling. You see? You say horrible, horrifying, terrible, gross, 
This and this is what Esau is calling you, the white man. This is what he's calling you for not paying a toll fee. He's saying you are a, hor a horrible person, dreadful. Look, it's a cause, dreadful. It's a causing or involving great suffering, fear or unhappiness, extremely bad or serious. Now, what's so serious about not paying a toll fee for going across a bridge, man? That just show you, man, this devil, man, the type of nigga he is. You know, and they say he's going to be looking both for the in, indregious invaders and the commuter who ca casually ignores the payments. You know, for people who say there's not enough enforcement against those who don't have easy pass laden acts. Uh, but you see the point, man. This is the type of nigga you dealing with, man. He charging you to go across the bridge, you know. But ultimately, that's that's going to, you know, you know, back back to the video. It says it's gonna be cashless. So they're just showing, man. That's what they that's what they showing for a cashless society, man. And that's how it's gonna be when they bring out that karagma, man. They just doing it step by step, like with the jab. Oh, you don't got the jab, you can't go here. You can't go to this restaurant. You can't go to this bar. You can't go to this club. You can't go to the stadium. Now you got people juiced up. You can't get on planes. You can't go out of town. See what I'm saying? Now they just passed starting, you know, I would say tonight. You know, people won't be able to go past this bridge, man, without getting a damn a letter in the mail. You know? And look, he look like a fucking devil. So look, this second address, 15 and 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. You see? And this and that's gonna pay up I mean play a part in that, you know. You don't got easy pass. Now you getting bill after bill after bill. Now your car impounded. You know, now they looking for you. Now you got to go to court. Now you locked up, you know. But it, it's really going to get bad out here, you know, when the martial law troops come in, man. They're just a small, you know, portion of that, man. You know, but it's going to come a time where it's going to be roadblocks. You can't go nowhere because, you know, the world games is in Birmingham right now. And they got roadblocks on certain streets where you can't even go go down the street if you don't, you know, got a, a, a pass, you know. They got roadblocks. They got um search checkpoints. It, man, it's going to get serious out here, man. You know. I'm going to end it right here just to go back to that cashless society. Revelations 13 and 16. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And just for edification, I'm going to get this word mark. 5480, a stamp and imprinted mark. So this is, so this mark right here, man, this is a physical mark, man, you know. You say a stamp and imprinted mark. You go to the root word. G5482. Karox. It say right here in the root etymology. It say to sharpen to a point through the idea of scratching. So it's going to be a physical thing upon the body. In the body, you know. And you go to the root word of Karox. You go back to Grapho. G1125. You know. It say to write. You know, with reference to the form of letters, you know. So this this karagma, man, that they gonna stick in you niggas, man. It's gonna have your information on there. He say to to write to one. He say by writing in a written epistle to give information. You know, it's gonna have your information on it, man. You know, so it's gonna be a physical mark. That's the point of me showing this, man. You say to grave. Um, 16 again, he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, 
and his number is 600, three score and six, 666. You see? Let me get that. This is um, G5516. Look, 666, and 666. And when you go, you see, when you go to the Strong's, it seems to this word right here. It say it's an obsolete letter, G4742. Stigma, it say a mark pricked in or branded upon the body. You see? So it's gonna be a physical thing, man. It's a to ancient oriental usage, slaves or soldiers bore the name or the stamp of their master or commander branded or pricked, cut into their bodies to indicate what master or general they belong to. And there were even some devotees who stamped themselves in this way with the token of their gods. You see? So it said branded or pricked, cut into their bodies. And that's what's going to happen, man. You know? This just Esau just be throwing a little shit out there like this just to, you know, get you ready, man. Get you prepped up for the Karagwa, man, that they going to prick you with, you know? Yeah, man, I'm going back. But I'm going to get this judgment, man, for all you people that they're going to bow down and take it and worship Esau. Revelation 14 and 9, the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast, and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or his right hand the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the prison of the holy angel and in the prison of the lamb you see so you're gonna eat a missile man you bow down to esau man and you continue going through you know life Living how he tell you to live, man. You take a karagma, you gonna you gonna eat a missile, man, and, and your and your skin gonna be melted off your body. You know, your tongue is gonna be melted in your mouth, and your eyes gonna melt in your sockets. It's in your head, man. You know, but hey, I just wanna do a quick lesson. But with that, I'm gonna say shalom.